Hello shape enthusiasts, welcome back to a, another guide on tricky crystal shapes. Last episode I showed you how to make incomplete crystal layers by piecing the shape together from quarters instead of layer by layer. That helps with shapes like this where you have an incomplete crystal layer on top of some other shapes. As a quick recap, to make a shape like this with three quarters of a blue crystal, unfortunately you can't make it layer by layer, so you have to make it quarter by quarter. Here we've got a mold that is three quarters of a shape, and we're stacking it on top of the shape that we do want, and then putting it through a crystal maker to get just the quarter that we want. And once we have our quarters, we use swappers to piece that shape together, one quarter at a time. Now that's all well and good for shapes like this where there is no gaps anywhere but today we're going to extend that concept to look at how you would do that for shapes that potentially have a gap underneath. First of all you might be asking why is this even a problem? Well you can't piece this together layer by layer because once you put down this layer and this layer and you try to add the crystal layer you can imagine a crystal will fill any gaps. So if you try to put the red crystal on the third layer while there's two gaps on the first layer it's going to fill in red crystal on here and there is no way to get rid of that. Next you might be asking well I can just use that same technique that you showed in the last video to piece it together quarter by quarter. But unfortunately that also won't work because if we go into a quarter view you can see when you try to make this quarter with the gap in it it's just going to fall down because there's nothing holding it up. So how can you get this quarter to stay in the air with a gap underneath while you piece together the rest of the shape? Well that's what I'm going to show you this video. So to abstract this problem, we're actually going to make this shape instead. We're going to get rid of the crap on top and we're just going to show you how to make this shape where there's a gap underneath. And you can extend this concept to make any complex shape wherever there's a crystal and a gap underneath the crystal. Now the trick to understanding a shape like this is if we look at it from quarters, we can look at quarters that have complete layers. For example, this bottom right quarter over here is a perfectly okay quarter to make. We can do it using our molds and scaffolds by putting two quarter crystals and then a three quarter mold and then adding a blue crystal layer. So for example, making this quarter, as I showed with the tricks last episode, is pretty easy to do. The tricky part comes with making this other quarter. This quarter is hanging in mid air. There is no shape on the bottom layer, so it's actually impossible to make in isolation. What we in instead need to make is something to hold this shape up in mid air. The second thing to understand is how do you even get a gap underneath a shape? Well, we're gonna have to abuse the delicate nature of crystals. Now I want you to imagine what happens if we had a crystal layer underneath here. So instead of a gap, if we had a crystal layer like this, and then we cut this shape in half, we can imagine that this red crystal bit is going to shatter away, leaving us with the gap that we want. However, if we have nothing holding it up, this top two layers is just going to fall down to the bottom layer and we're not going to get the shape that we want. So before we can cut this thing in half, what we really need to do is on this empty quarter, have another shape that holds this shape up. For example, if I had something like this now, when I cut away that red crystal, it's going to leave us with this half shape. And now that's looking like a much more reasonable shape because now you've got something dangling in midair, but you've also got something holding it up. So that's essentially what we're gonna try to make. Let's see that in practice. So to make that bottom red crystal layer, I've just brought in some red paint. Uh, it doesn't matter what you use, but just for clarity of this example, I'm gonna use red paint to cut away. Now we were using our three quarter scaffold before, but our bottom layer is a half red crystal. So we're going to shatter away half of this. We'll give it a 180 degree rotation and then a half destroy. And once we have our half shape, we can now just put it through a crystal generator and that should give us the shape that we want. So now we have a half red crystal. Now remember we're only making one quarter of this shape so on top of that half red crystal goes a quarter circle. I'm going to take my quarter circles from this half circle area. Now our second layer that goes on top of this is a circle so I'm going to take my full circles from over here and bring that on. So we'll just get a stacker 
bring our shatterable gap layer underneath and then we'll bring our circle layer on top. Now the shape that's going to come out of here will be a circle on top of our half crystal. And you can see the bottom left quarter is pretty much what we're interested in. The rest of the shape is going to be cut away at some point. Our third layer is that quarter blue crystal that we're interested in. So to make that quarter blue crystal, we're going to need our scaffold again over here. And this time we're going to need a full scaffold. So we'll just bring that in and hop that over this belt. And we're going to bring that up for clarity. Now I want the whole of the scaffold to go on top of the bit that I'm interested in, which is the bottom left corner. So I'm going to give that a clockwise rotation. Now with that all in place, we can simply join these two layers up. Now we can have a look at the shape that's coming out of here. And if we're only looking at the bottom left corner, we've got a space for the blue crystal. Now let's bring this up along with our blue paint and put that through a second crystal maker. And from here, you can see we've pretty much made that shape that we want and it's dangling in mid air, except we can see there's a red crystal underneath. So let's see what this looks like once we shatter away the red crystal. I'm going to give it a 90 degree counterclockwise rotation. Then we'll simply put it through a half destroyer. And with the left half of this shape destroyed, we can see what we are left with, which is essentially the dangling crystal part that we were interested in held up by some sort of scaffold over here. Now we essentially have the quarter that we want. We need to merge it with the other quarter that we actually want in our full shape. So we've made this quarter. It's being held up by a temporary shape, which is not what we want. We want it to be held up by the actual shape that we're interested in. So now we have to make this quarter, but this quarter is very easy to make because it's basically just a circle, another circle, and then a blue quarter crystal. So we'll do that over here for clarity, just so that it's a little bit separated. So here are the three shapes that I need. I just need to stack them properly. So first we'll get our two circles stacked. Then we'll stack on our scaffold onto this circle. And what comes out of here is a two circle layer with a three quarter shape ready for some crystal making. Now I'll just bring my blue fluid across. We'll put a crystal maker down and have a look at what comes out of here. And we can see on the bottom right, we have the bit of the shape that we want. And we just want to cut away the bits that we don't want. And because this is a standard shape with no gaps, we can just cut away everything except the quarter that we're interested in. So we'll get a half destroy, counterclockwise rotation, followed by another half destroy. And there we go. We have the quarter that we want. Now, if we look at these two shapes that we've made, this bit that's dangling, we need to put the shape that we want over here so that it holds up this part of the shape that's in midair. So let's rotate that to the bottom left, 180 degree rotation. And now let's just stack these two shapes together. Now, of course, we can't use a stacker for this because they have crystals on there. If we try to drop the shape, it's going to shatter. So we have to use a swapper. Now, if we look at what's coming out of the swapper, we can see we have pretty much half the shape that we want. And now we don't need this old scaffold anymore to hold up this half because it's being held up by the real half of the shape. So it can give that a counterclockwise rotate followed by a half destroy. And now the shape that we're getting is pretty much half of the shape that we're interested in. Now for my example shape, it is symmetrical. So I can just take two of these half shapes and then swap them together to make the final shape but you can extend this concept to make non-symmetrical shapes as well. You just have to do the same process with the other half of the shape before swapping them together. So for my example, I'm just gonna take another copy of this shape, but you would probably remake this shape somewhere else. We'll give that a 180 degree rotate and we're gonna put it through a, another swapper. And now we can clearly see the shape that we're producing is essentially exactly what we want with a crystal shape on top of a gap or a crystal overhang, essentially. 
So understanding that technique will pretty much allow you to make any complex shapes whenever you see a crystal layer on top of a regular shape with a gap underneath. Shapes like this, things like this, where you can see there's a crystal layer on top and a gap on the third level, you would still have to use this same technique to make this from quarters, have something holding up this layer before putting on the actual layer that's going to hold it up and then piecing it together in that way. You'll see other examples of more complex shapes, but it follows the exact same theory. Sometimes the shape gets a little bit complicated in that you have to figure out which layer is actually holding up this shape. This one has a crystal on the fifth layer, two gaps on the first and second layer, and it's being held up by the shape over on the bottom left, where it's only being held up by the third layer. It looks a bit complicated, but the concept stays the same. You would have to build a scaffold to temporarily hold this shape up on all five layers or at least on the up to the third layer, but because the crystal is on the fifth layer, you'd have to scaffold all the way up to the fifth layer and then keep that five level scaffold until you make this shape. And then once this shape is swapped together, you can cut away the scaffold. But that's pretty much it. Next episode, we're going to talk about these trickier shapes where there is a crystal overhang and no shape underneath. And we're gonna go through all the challenges that sort of shape presents and how to deal with it. You'll see that example in your final milestone in insane mode where you just got a naked crystal overhang. And you'll also see examples of that in your final task shape where you've just got a single naked crystal overhang with no shape underneath. And we will show you how to do that next episode. So if you've learned something and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and sub and I will see you in the next guide. Thanks for watching.